Sick. Santam from the book called XAJ. Man, mystic with a pen like JK. True say, I ain't really a drinker, but I got love for brandy like. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to another Transfer Daily video for you guys today. This is the first time I'm doing double uploads ever on my channel, so. Guys, if you want to see more of this sort of content from me or more regular content like this from me, let me know in the comment section down below. But there is a reason for the double upload. There's a reason why I had to bring this camera out and shoot yet another video for you guys today. Thiago Silva to Chelsea is done now. We were talking over the last couple of days about rumours and he's getting stronger and stronger and stronger. But Fabrizio Romano has reported today that Thiago Silva to Chelsea is a done deal. He signed a two-year contract. All we're really waiting for now is he, is medical terms and then the announcement from Chelsea, the official one. But as the way things are looking right now, Thiago Silva is going to be a Chelsea player. He was looking more likely to go to Fiorentina a couple of weeks ago. But Chelsea's interest has grown stronger and stronger as we've neared towards the Champions League final. And the one thing that I'm surprised by is how quickly it took straight after the Champions League final and apparently Chelsea have had these talks with Thiago Silva over the last three weeks. We've been talking about it for a couple months saying, hmm, Thiago Silva's on a free, wouldn't mind him. It'd be a pretty decent choice for us if we needed something short term or something like that. But we wouldn't it was never really anything strong or anything concrete until just the last few days and now it's now it's coming out that this deal has apparently been in talks over the last couple of weeks. Chelsea Chelsea literally move in silence and even if you're thinking of it being one good move, Chelsea are already three or four steps ahead of the curve. And this is a great transfer for us. It is a short-term signing for us. And you already know you're going to have all the rival fans coming around saying, Oh, but you guys cost our Arsenal fans and you said that they're a retirement home because they got Willian. Guys, it's completely different. Willian got, like, what, 25 open play goals in seven years. Thiago Silva is a consistently world-class defender. And even in the case of, yeah he's, oh, yeah, he's 35, 36 and his legs are going a little bit. But that don't even matter too much. He's attacked. Tactically intelligent defender. And again, speed might be failing a little bit, but his positional intelligence, reading, and anticipation of the ball more than makes up for it. Always in the right place at the right time. And like I always say, defensively, pace don't really matter as much as it does going forward. Going forward, if you rely heavily on pace in your younger years, you need to change your style of play when you hit 30 plus. Because once your legs start to go, your gameplay starts to dissolve as well. Defensively, you can be protected if your pace ain't really there. It all depends on the players that are around you. And it also all depends on your positioning as well. John Terry, big example. Never the fastest. Even in his prime years, he was never really known for being quick. But it was about his positioning. It was about his timing. It was about his awareness. It was about always being in the right place at the right time. And that is Thiago Silva for you. He also has a great range of passes. Good long passes if we need to transition quickly. As well as pinpoint short passes that will fit in with Lampard's style of play. As we like to play the ball out of the back. Now, we already know about his passing ability. And we also know that he's very strong aerially on the ball as well. Which has been a huge huge problem for us for so long in the last couple of seasons that aerial threat and we said if there's one thing that we wanted to pick up from a defender if there's one trait that we need it's aerial ability because off the top of my head Kurt Zuma's good aerially uh, ben Chilwell, if he joins, he'll be good aerially as well. That's one of his strengths too. And bar that, it's just Olivier Drude and nobody else. And that's the reason why he's been so poor at set pieces. We brought in a new defensive coach as well, who has apparently been really good at helping set pieces at his last club. I think that was Wigan, if I remember correctly. That's just off the top of my head. But yeah. Thiago Silva to Chelsea looks like it's happening and this guy is going to bring a lot of experience to a side that needs it defensively. Right now, if we're looking at defensive experience, all that we really have is Azpilicueta. And Azpilicueta isn't really the most vocal of leaders. He's more, he's more of a soldier, plays with his heart, more like speaks out with his heart. We've seen it at times, you see him try to be that vocal leader, but it looks more like a struggle, more like something, more compared to something that... 
but it looks like more of a struggle for Aspie compared to something that just comes out of him naturally. Thiago Silva is a natural born leader and like I said in previous videos if there's one little negative in this one is that the English barrier might be a little bit of an issue for him but that's only a little bit of an issue. He's going to have Kurt Zuma around him, he's going to have Kante and Aspie all who understand the French language and he's also got a basic enough understanding of the English language that is going to work and even sometimes you don't even need it. If you look at the case of players like Mauricio, I mean managers like Mauricio Pochettino, you remember when he first joined Southampton and he had that translator following around all the time and he still managed to get results out of a very good Southampton side. So the English barrier, English barrier may be an issue but it's more of something that you can work around. It's not anything too deep. Now, with Thiago Silva through the door, Kai Havertz looking like it's through the door, and Ben Chilwell waiting as well, questions are going to be asked about, okay, cool, now what's our transfer activity going to look like? How's Thiago Silva's transfer going to impact our transfer activity? The first thing I want to talk about is the wages. Thiago Silva's taken a massive pay cut from £325,000 a week to, I think it's around 100000 105k a week. It's something... Like, it's a huge drop compared to a pay cut. It's still a pretty big wage, but it's not, we're not signing someone who's going to be dead or who's going to be gassed after six months. This is a very solid defender. And 100k, it is a, a little bit of a lot, but it's not too much. I'm not going to say it's anything too harsh or Thiago Silva's asking for too much. It's nothing too deep. But we already know what Matt Law was saying when it comes to our transfer activity and that we need to sell in order to buy defensively. I don't think anyone expected Thiago Silva to come in this quickly after the Champions League final, but there are still like other factors that are going to have to come in before the Ben Chilwell transfer happens as well. First thing is that Fikayo Tomori looks like he's going to be going on loan to another club. There's been multiple league um, clubs interested in him and Premier League clubs as well. And in my opinion, you do kind of lose the purpose of bringing in Thiago Silva as that mentor to him if you're putting him out on loan for a season. But in the case of Fikayo Tomori, first team experience and getting that regular game time means more to him than just having a, having a player like Thiago Silva under your wing. That still can do a lot to your game. But I think the first team experience would matter a lot more to him depending on the club that he goes to. So I'd like to see Tomori stay. I think he's got a great future here at Chelsea, but... It depends on the side. If a good Premier League side comes in for him, I'd want to see him go there on loan because regular game time at a Premier League club is what I think is best for him. Bakayoko to AC Milan, we've also spoke about that one. That's looking like it's on the cards. We want to push that deal forward as well to get his wage bill off the charts. We already know what it is with Bakayoko. I think we're looking to get about £30 million on an option to buy after a one-year loan deal from AC Milan. Just is what it is. Just get him out the door. I've said it multiple times. I'm not going to go into too much about Bakayoko. Just go, go, literally out, done. Emerson to Inter Milan also needs to be completed as well in order to free up space for the squad for another left back. And then we should be able to bring Ben Chilwell into the squad. It's, there's a lot of players that need to come out in order to come in. If anything, I don't know if it's a case of are they going to come out first before they come in because we said that all in the first case of a defender and now Thiago Silva's come in before we've even got rid of one in the first place. So it's not that important that we get rid of one and then bring in another. But we know at the end of the window... We should have got rid of one defender. We should have got rid of one left back as well. I'm hoping Thiago Silva's contract now keeps ha, uh, has a better chance of keeping Kurt Zuma at the club. I think he's our best centre back. Well, before Silva joined, by a mile, he was our best centre back. But he was the only centre back getting any offers, which was kind of why Frank Lampard was looking like it could have been him that was going. Everyone was saying it could, was likely to be Kurt Zuma because he was the only one getting any options. Christensen still has the Chelsea youth to kind of help him out a little bit, and Rudiger's just had a lot of injuries, which would take a lot, take a little bit too much off the transfer value. Me personally, still rather we get rid of Rudiger if we have to get rid of another defender. But Thiago Silva is joining Chelsea, so we have really improved our defensive solidity right now. But guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know if you agree or disagree with any of the points I've made. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care. Up the Chelsea.